from Nigeria is asking, how many times do we raise our hands uh, during the Salat? And this is an issue that seriously we should not be so, um, how to say it, extreme about it. First of all, as Muslims, what is the ruling on raising the hands in the Salah? Is it a pillar or is it mandatory or it is neither? The answer is it's neither. It's a sunnah. So if you do it and if you skip it, it's not going to invalidate your prayer. It's not going to affect your prayer. Okay, having this over done with, let's go into the sunnah. How many times did the Prophet ﷺ raise his hands in Salat? All Muslims agree that he raised his hand in the first takbir, known as takbir al ihram So when you want to inaugurate your prayer, you say, Allahu Akbar. The takbir is the pillar of Salat, not raising your hands. So even if I say in the beginning of a Salat, Allahu Akbar, my prayer is valid. Now, are there any other locations where the Prophet ﷺ raised his hands? The answer is yes. The Prophet ﷺ raised his hands as in the hadith of Ibn Umar, who observed his prayer and reported that to us. And it's in the most authentic book after the Quran, which is Sahih al-Bukhari. He said that the Prophet ﷺ used to raise his hands. And this is from my pocket. Huh? So the Prophet raised his hands. In, two locations of the, of the prayer, only once. And in two other locations in every single rak'ah. So the first location that he only did it once in salah is in the beginning of the salat, takbiratul ihram. The second is whenever he stood up from the first tashahud to the third rak'ah. And this happens in Maghrib, Dhuhr, Asr, or Isha. So when he stands up to the third rak'ah, he said, Allahu Akbar. And this happens only once. Now the other two locations that happen every single rak'ah, and that is when you want to bow for ruku', you raise your hands. And when you raise your head from ruku', you say, Sami Allahu liman hamida. And this happens in every rak'ah. Now this is a sunnah that is authentic. We have Ibn Umar reporting it to us. To make an issue out of it, and us versus them. And they say so many awful things that this was in the beginning because some of the new Muslims used to put idols under their armpit. So when they raise their hands, it would fall down. This is pathetic. And you can do something better than that. To make it an issue that divides the Ummah, as some of the brothers told me, in Pakistan, the Imam there, if he sees them raise their hands, he orders them to get out of the masjid. Is this your father's masjid to get people out of it? You, this Imam is an ignorant imbecile for doing such things to people who are following the Sunnah. Even if you differ with them, it's their prayer, not yours. Why are you angry about it? Because these people want the congregation to be like sheep and they are their shepherds. They only listen and adhere to whatever they say and this is totally unacceptable in Islam.